What is up everyone? Welcome to another adventure vlog. I'm that wooden coaster guy and I'm in my car and it's six o'clock in the morning. So what are you doing? It's Friday, it's January. It's the dead of winter here in the Midwest. It's eight, eight degrees this morning here. What are you doing? Why are you vlogging? Well, I'm heading to the airport this morning because I'm flying to San Antonio. Spur of the moment decision about two weeks ago. I thought, I'm just going to do it. I've never been to Fiesta, Texas, and I've never been to the SeaWorld down there either. So the plan is Friday today. The plan is tomorrow, Saturday, to do Six Flags Fiesta, Texas all day. I actually packed my camera, so uh, I'll go in in the morning and get uh, all the credits. You'll see that, POVs, and then I'll go back in probably with my camera and take some photos and maybe some off-road footage and all that good stuff. But then Sunday, I'm gonna do SeaWorld San Antonio in the morning, and the plan is to go to ZDT's that evening and do a switchback at least once, but I'd like to marathon it. But we'll see where that goes. Anyhow, it's eight degrees, did a little snowing last night, and uh, it's gonna be a fun drive to the airport here, some Chicago traffic, so we'll see you in the next video. All right, we just parked. We're heading to the elevator and then we're gonna catch the shuttle over to the airport. So hopefully it's not uh, like that in Texas. Uh, we'll see. Here we go. moments later. We just had lunch. What a burger, of course. Delicious. Got a Dr. Pepper shake with it. I'm gonna go check out the rental car place before trying to get an Uber. All right, so I made it to my hotel room. I was able to get a rental car that way I could, I could avoid Ubering everywhere because I don't, that gets expensive. But that rental car is expensive too. Anyhow, we're settled in. Tonight is kind of my free night to do whatever. Maybe, uh, I know the river walk is right here or whatever, but maybe I'll check that out. I did see Fiesta Texas on my way and I think it's just off in the distance. There's a couple hotels blocking some stuff, but it looked great and I'm very excited to get to it. I've heard nothing but great things about it lately. So let's get this trip rolling, see what we can get into tonight. All right, so kind of a sucky update. Um, I just went on the Six Flags app to check what time they open tomorrow, and 
due to inclement weather. Let's, let's, let's take a look outside here. In, inclement weather. It's, it's beautiful. It's 50 degrees. It's beautiful. But I guess inclement weather, there's a little cold front coming in. They are closed this entire weekend. Six Flags Fiesta Texas says. <laughs> SeaWorld is still scheduled to open tomorrow. SeaWorld San Antonio at 1030. So I'm going to do that. And uh, I just changed my flight out to uh, Dallas on Monday morning. I'm going to go visit my uncle up there in Dallas. Because now it's like, all right, what, what am I going to do? So probably no ZDTs and uh, definitely no Six Flags Fiesta. So that won't just, uh, more flags, more fun. So anyway, SeaWorld San Antonio, here we come. All right. Nightlife in San Antonio. Um, you can see my reflection, but here, let me try to get it better. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. The town is lit up. I actually like this over here, this little, these lights on the entrance to the true over here. Let me see if I can, yeah, look at that. That's pretty nice. Uh, while the nightlife may be going on, um, this is my party in here. So, you ready? This is how I party. All kidding aside, uh, I'm going to take a little bit of a power nap because I am going to go out later. Uh, my cousin lives down here in San Antonio, so I gave him, gave him a ring, and uh, we're going to meet up later for uh, Whataburger, <laughs> even though I had it earlier. Uh, you got to splurge when you're in Texas with the Whataburger, um, so I'm going to do that. Um, I got my flight changed to Dallas. I'm dropping the rental car off tomorrow at the san antonio airport that i just had it just it yeah, that sucks about uh fiesta texas but as of now sea world is still open and it'll be opening up about 10 30 so i'm gonna be there and i'm gonna get steel eel and i want to get the uh texas stingray as well just check that gci out i haven't heard a lot about it so and i actually don't know the layout so it'll be a new one for me um it's just this whole credit trip was kind of a, a blow honestly but we're going to make the best of it with uh, SeaWorld San Antonio. So if I don't check in tonight, we'll see you in the morning at the park. Okay, so we made it to the Whataburger. Just chilling in the car. They're on their way from, they were seeing a movie. So probably a little bit down towards the uh, Riverwalk, if I had to guess. Uh, traffic was so bad going that way. We wanted to meet at another one that was uh, down the street. Uh, but it, it was 12 miles away. And it was 50 minutes to get there. So we ended up uh, agreeing on this one. I or talked him into it a little bit. <laughs> to do this. this one was only five minutes because it was the opposite direction of where all the traffic is going. So hopefully they don't have too much coming this way. Uh, there's a Chick-fil-A right here, but it is 10 o'clock. So Whataburger is probably one of the only things open. And uh, that's what they had figured on. So Whataburger twice in a day. I am super excited for this. So let's get this party on. Let's see what we can get ourselves into. So I just finished up dinner. Uh, I don't know if might meet my cousin. We uh, met at a more manageable Whataburger about five minutes from the hotel here. Uh, excuse the elevator sound in the background. It was really good. I had another Dr. Pepper shake. I tried their chicken sandwich this time. It was really good. Uh, but it was good to see him and, his and got, got to meet his wife now. It was a lot of fun, and uh, we're going to hang out again tomorrow, so stay tuned. So that brings day one to a very eventful but abrupt end, I guess you could say. Um, I prefer to do trips like this where kind of day one is just settling into the place and relaxing instead of just like go, 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 go. If you watch the uh, the Great Escape vlog where we, did, uh, we went on Alpine bobsleds last day, that was a very... Go, 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 go vlog. So I'd, I never have time to do a lot of footage for that because it's just so rapid. Uh, you know, the plane lands, you got to catch our next flight right away. And then, you know, our flight lands, I got to book an Uber. We got to go to the park immediately because, you know, we only had a limited window of like two or three hours to be at the park. But this was supposed to be a very eventful weekend. And it's it's still going to be. It's just not going to be as roller coaster centered i guess and uh that's fine by me 
I have other things to do here as well. You know, it's not all about roller coasters as much as I'd love it to be. But uh, I'm going to SeaWorld tomorrow morning. And then I'm going to be hooking up with uh, my cousin again. And we're going to drive up to Dallas together. He's got to go up that way anyway. We're going to go up and uh, visit my uncle. And my parents are also up that way visiting my uncle. So we're all going to link up and probably have dinner. Be good, uh, good family bonding. And then I fly out Monday morning at 6 a.m. So I don't know how much footage I'll get from that because I'll be extremely tired. Oh, and that was another thing. I changed my flight to Dallas Love Field. So I'll fly out of there instead of San Antonio. So bummer about Fiesta, Texas. But look on the bright side. We're getting some roller coasters in. Otherwise, this vlog would not come out because there's no, you know, there's no roller coasters. So I don't know if ZDTs is going to happen. Probably not. Um, we'll bank kind of not happening. If I get everything done in an hour, it'll happen. But we'll see. The world awaits us tomorrow morning. And until then, good night. And see you all soon. The next day. Good morning, everyone. Check out that. I don't know if you can see the beautiful skyline back there. I'll try to get a better shot of it, maybe. Um, heading over to the car. Just checked out of the hotel. Uh, it was a really great hotel. Very spacious, lots of room. And uh, not really that hungry, so I'm not gonna get breakfast. But um, maybe I'll grab something quick at uh, Whataburger, surprise. But I'm very excited about SeaWorld. It's, uh, I don't know about inclement weather, but it's, uh, I guess, chilly for Texas. It's like high 40s or low 50s, something in there. Uh, this is great for me because it was 10 degrees when I left Chicago yesterday morning. So I'll take anything above 30. All right, um, let's get let's get on our way to SeaWorld and uh, see what kind of trouble we can get into. All right, folks, we made it to a very empty SeaWorld San Antonio. There's about 30 people in the parking lot, maybe, if that. And, uh, this is the up close and VIP parking lot. So it's, I guess it's first come, first serve basis for the up close, so they gave me that by default. But let's check this place out. I see a water right over there. I don't assume that'll be operating today just because of the cooler temperatures. But here we go. Got my glasses on. Let's get some uh, let's get some rides on these coasters I've heard a lot about, especially Steel Deal. I'm excited. People are bundled up down here, man. Like they don't know what's cold. <laughs> the entrance or over here you'll see an ad or a poster at least for catapult falls which was pushed back to this year 2024 it's a launched log flume and it's also the world's steepest flume coaster i believe it's an intamin so that won't be operating today probably if i had to guess because it's an intamin <laughs> right through security with pretty much no weight and uh, I assume there's a fountain here usually. Oh, there's a sign right here. There you go. I don't know what that means, but I assume they're trying to conserve water somewhat. So it looks like the water park's right here. Uh, I don't think we'll be riding any slides today. to the uh, gate drop, rope drop, whatever you want to call it, the gate, gate opening, the opening ceremony, the running of the bulls, the three people here. Okay, one of the first people in the park that's, uh, it's got to be a record there. So, um, I don't know where we're heading to first, but we'll, we'll go somewhere. I don't know if they can even ride that one, but yeah, let's see what we can get into. Oh no. Started recording at the wrong time, so I'm gonna talk over this copyright music. But there's Great White over there. That's what we're gonna rope drop with. So let's head over there and let's see the labels right here. I think I'll. Uh oh. Rut Row. See an inclement weather sign up here. 
Yeah, steel eel is down due to inclement weather. It's just cool is all. Um, I don't think anything else will be open, but uh, we're gonna walk around at least and see. Right under steel eel. Shame we can't ride it yet. Banquet encounter. And the Catapult Falls is actually right over here, it looks like. You can maybe take a gander at that. Wave breaker is here. Let's see if there's a sign for that closed in the weather. Yep, there's Catapult Falls right there. Work in progress. And we got some great music playing over here. I'm gonna have to talk a little bit louder though. Uh, just in case YouTube decides not to, as you can see, uh, Wave Breaker says it's down to technical difficulties. So, uh, uh, hopefully that'll be, it. well, you know, intimate, you know, we'll see. Training center, uh, Capitol Falls. We're building memories for the future. Spring of this year, be there, or be square. The Great White. Great Batman. Let's um to keep our fingers crossed here and see if oh I don't see a sign. I might get a Zen ride on it too. Oh no. There is a sign. Son of a garden. Oh, and there's no there's no explanation, it just says closed. Oh come on, the rapid rides isn't open. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> uh, so we won't be doing that first. It's just closed. Um, everything's closed that I've walked by so far. Um, maybe Texas Stingray will have better luck with. Let's see. I don't even see anybody in the station. I don't even want to walk over there. But we're going to walk over there. Okay, oh. I think I see a sign, but walk over there and check it out. The closed park. I don't know if you can see that from here. Closed due to inclement weather. That's damn park, man. I don't even know if there's anything else over here. But here's your uh, view of Texas Stingray. I was looking forward to getting on that. This damn park, man. Nothing's open. It's like 40, 40 something degrees. Kings Island would have everything upgraded. I rode Mystic Timbers. And it was like 20 degrees. Well, I'm, I'm lying. It was like low 30s, but still, it was cold. And it's not that bad out today. So let's wait and see. Um, I don't think it's going to get any better throughout the day. Uh, maybe we'll go grab some food and wait it out. I don't know. Let's see. Since nothing is open, we can marvel at Steel Eel's awesome-looking support structure. Look at that. Wave breaker right here and then great white in the distance. All closed. Why did they even bother opening today? Taking people's money. Uh wow. I like this like purple. It's like an electric blue slash purple with a yellow track. That really pops. Here's your sign. Uh sign looks great, but uh look better if it was opened. Alright, this seems to this seems to be open, so uh let's check this out. Let's see, oh, look at this. Tostada cheeseburger. Oh, I like it. Alright, so I got the tostada burger with fries and a coke zero. Uh, I just took my first bite. It's exactly tastes exactly like what you think it would taste like. Uh, refried beans and cheese. Burger don't have much flavor to it. It's a little very flavorless. All right, so quick review of this burger. It's bad. It's it's really bad. Um, burger patty is really bland. It's not seasoned. The beans are lightly seasoned, but it just overall kind of just tastes like refried beans and cheese. This is something to talk about with Nick. And serve it with fries. At least give me Mexican rice or something. Get it together, see what we'll do. Yeah, Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras going on. Got some colorful outfits. Hi there. How are you? Good, how are you? 
Good, good. All right, I'm gonna hit the restrooms and then we're gonna give them one more chance on the coasters and if they're not open, I'm probably out of here. <laughs> it's worse than a, a world's a fun opening vlog. But the only thing I've been on so far is the food court. Okay, here we go, round two on the coasters. Let's, uh, let's walk the coaster corridor. See a lot of people walking around and I don't hear any rides running, so. Oh, more Mardi Gras characters. It feels like it might have warmed up a little bit, but I don't know. I'm I'm a foreigner in these parts. It's, it feels warm to me. It's light jacket weather, but a lot of people are bundled up. It's re really nice in the sun. It's like a spring evening or fall evening in the Midwest. All right. So so far, I've been by Steel Eel. That was closed still. Uh, Arctic Rescue. Sorry, Wave Breaker. Same thing. Um, the, ch the sign outside changed from closed due to technical difficulties to just closed. Great White's still closed. And uh, I assume Texas Stingray is still closed. All right, we're heading over by Texas Stingray and it looks still empty over here and there's people waiting outside the queue. So I'm gonna assume she's still not open, but let's go over here and take a look anyway. Why not, right? All right, please excuse the uh weird transitions between the two musics going on behind me. It's like an epic action adventure movie soundtrack going on while country's playing. It's very strange. Um, I have a new worst park visit and uh, it's this one. <laughs> uh, it's not an enjoyable experience. I, luckily I have a pass. So I got in, you know, without having to pay an entrance fee. But there are a lot of families here who paid to get in, you know, the single day admission. And I can understand that they would be very upset because not, not a thing is open. There, there was like two flat rides that I saw going. Everything else is closed due to inclement weather. So, uh, not, not good. I figured this was a good angle to record my shadow while I'm talking. So, see world. I'm, I leave, I'm leaving, I just walked out of the exit right there. And uh, I'm heading towards back to my car. Um, I'm very, very disappointed about this experience. Why even bother opening if you're not gonna have any of your major attractions open? Um, I think that's just, uh, you know, you're taking people's money. And, you know, if I had paid for a single day admission, I'd be very, very, very upset. Pass holder, and I'm upset. You know, the only thing I paid for was food when I got in. But very disappointing to see World. Um, at least Six Flags Fiesta Texas had the courage to close and post that they were closed. You guys just opened and took people's money instead of saying that you're going to honor the tickets for another weekend. That's that's not cool. So we're out of here. Uh, very upset. Depending on what time it is, maybe I'll go to ZDT's. We'll see. So again, like, why would you even open? There's not a lot of people here, but they still bought tickets or they have passes and they still got, you know, they honored them. That's not cool. Uh, very disappointing SeaWorld San Antonio trip. And I will be holding this against them on a return visit if I ever get motivation to come back down here. See, that's the thing. I'm probably a little bit more upset than if I was a local because I flew down here specifically to go to Fiesta, Texas and SeaWorld San Antonio. And I can't, I'm coming away like in Fiesta, Texas more just, just because of this. Like that's, that's not cool. So anywho, um, oh, I'm not used to finding not my car. Let's get the keys out here. All right, so anyway, uh, I'll check back in in a minute. So I just looked and ZDT's is about a 50 minute drive from here and then it's 40 minutes back to the airport. So I am gonna be excluding that from my trip because I do not wanna drive all that way 
just to find switchback closed due to inclement weather. Um, I think I've banged on SeaWorld enough, so I won't say anything more <laughs> on that issue. Um, this, I wouldn't really call it the uh, roller coaster portion because there was none. Um, but sorry, this vlog was so uh, boring or not, nothing really happened. I mean, I, I literally just got in and walked around and had lunch and then walked around again. And uh, I have nothing but negative things to say. So, not a good first impression from SeaWorld San Antonio. Um, there's still people going in. It's it's supposed to be about this temperature throughout the day, you know, warming up a little, but why even open? Like, that's my thing. Why, why even open? So, give my cousin a ring, uh, drop this rental car off. And then we're going to head up to visit my uncle, or our uncle, rather, up in Dallas. Yeah, um, not good. I'm, I'm not not very happy. Usually I try to see positives and uh, understand where the park is coming from, but I, I don't understand how you could open and take people's money. And Just my opinion. Anyhow, check back in in a minute. Until then see what we can get into well uh since the theme parks aren't doing me good i'm gonna go into guitar center and check out what we got going on in here see if anything's uh going on All right, uh, back in the car, just went inside Guitar Center and looked around a little bit. Uh, played some drums, some piano, and some acoustic guitar. I don't know what's happening, but it's fine. This is a Chicago, authentic Chicago-style street food grill right here. Um, it's a shame I won't get to try it out. I'm heading back to the airport. Um, my cousin just gave me a ring. He's all set to go. He's going to meet me over there. Looking like a six-minute drive right now over there. Return the car. Hopefully, uh, no issues and all that. The thing is still full on gas, so I'm not going to fill it up. Uh, I didn't use a lot. I'm surprised this thing. Toyota, man. They know what they're doing, I guess. Um, this thing does not ride smooth at all, though. But other than that, not too bad. So let's see how that goes. Gotta love a shady stairwell. Woo. Good acoustics though. Got a beaver picture. Go into bookies. So we get some bucking stuff. We got two sandwiches, bag of beef jerky, and then uh, water and a Arizona energy. So definitely, uh, uh, my cousin was filling the gas up. Definitely gave me some good recommendations. So I'll let you know on these. All right, so it's the next day. It's uh, Sunday now. Um, last night we ended up making it to the Dallas area. My cousin and I went out to dinner with uh, uncle and family. And uh, he had to leave, my cousin did, meet up with some buddies, that's why he was coming up this way, to go, go do some work. But I'm here, my uh, aunt and uncle's house now, staying till tomorrow, I checked in for my flight this morning. And um, there's really nothing to review, because, <laughs> I mean, we could talk about what kind of a park SeaWorld is, because why would you open if you're not gonna have anything open? But we've been through that over and over, so. I'll probably end the vlog here, 
because there's really nothing else to show. I mean, just the flight home. But again, it's going to be I'm gonna be up at like 4 a.m. tomorrow, so I don't know how much footage I'm going to be shooting of that. So, Texas trip blowout. That's exactly what it was. Um, so thanks for watching. And um, this will probably be my last video of me talking. So we'll see you guys in the next video. See if she still works. Nelson. Ooh. She works. <laughs>